Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for SerpentX Tech, and in this video we'll be going over how to set up dual instance mining of Dynex coin or Dynex salve algorithm. Many of you might wonder why do we even need to do this, and that might be because you're seeing a little bit of a bottleneck on your CPU side. So we're going to go over how to set up dual instance mining on your HiveOS system um, through flight sheet and a couple of extra commands. But then we're also going to go over, you know, a few of the items that we can identify if we're actually bottlenecking or slowing down our actual hash rate performance. Matter of fact, if we look at my uh, one of my main systems here, we're actually doing pretty good. First things first, check your CPU. Does it have AES? Now, if you don't know if it has AES and you come to Hive and it doesn't have it in green down here, you can always look this up, the model of your GPU in Google. And when you search that, there should be an ARC or Intel website that it will take you to where we'll list everything, all the specs of your CPU. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see Intel AES new instructions. Whether it's supported or not, it will say yes or no. And that will help you identify if it has the instructions set. Now, that's one thing that you want to have. Another thing that a lot of people are saying is, obviously, dual-core CPUs can bottleneck your system. You want four cores or more. Uh, I... I I'm working on completing a, a test of that, but you, as you can see here, we have nine GPUs on this rig and we're getting the full hash rate. How do we tell that? Well, the hash rate of each GPU needs to add up to this number here on the left-hand side. Additionally, it needs to be verifiable at the pool. So the number that you see here in Hive should, or in your miner, should also show at the pool level. And we can show an example of that because on the system that I have 12 GPUs on, these numbers under each GPU do not equal the number over here on the left-hand side that I just highlighted for you. Matter of fact, if I add up all of these numbers, it should be almost 800 hashes, but instead I'm only getting 660 hash. So with this system with nine GPUs and this system with 12 GPUs, the CPU is bottlenecking us a little bit, but at the pool level right now, before I refresh, you can see I'm actually seeing the same hash rate that I should be getting. For example, XSF4, which is the second system that we're seeing a little bit of a bottleneck, is near that number we just saw in our calculator. So 798, it says 783. However, if I refresh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see what it changes to. 436, right? But then uh, the the main system, 622, it's about it's about close to where it could be, right? So 698, 6, uh, 662, or 622, it's in the ballpark. But the, the bigger system with 12 GPUs is definitely hitting some type of limiting factor. Even though it does have an AES CPU down here, it's a dual core CPU. So what can we do to kind of work around that? Well, we can use dual instance mining. And now the Discord has a lot of good information. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek, by the way. Take a look. The team at Dynex is working on it. Be patient. But it should be coming out in the future um just be patient there's some testing going on some some beta uh testing so we'll get feedback to them and make some optimizations but moving back to the dual instance the flight sheet is actually a guide on their discord if we go if we go to the mining channel of the dynex discord and click the pin we have to scroll down a little bit but they have different instances that you can run i like wild rig multi miner but they have instances or dual instances for ton pool miner, dural stratum, so on and so forth. I just like the wild rig miner personally. I use it a lot for my AMD GPUs. And so here are the steps that we need to do. I did put it in a Word document format. And there's even a screenshot that they provided to us right here that I have also in the, uh, the document. Now, I don't have the document online. Let me know in the comments if you want me to add it. But long story short, we need to create this flight sheet. So what I literally did is I took my original flight sheet where it's just a single instance mining Dynex and I duplicated it. And you can see it here, DNX dual, dual instance. So if we edit this one, you will see the setup. So first coin, DNX, DNX wallet. But again, I'm mining to Zerg pool and exchanging it for Litecoin immediately. Uh, so I am losing a little bit to fees. So I'm overriding it in the actual minor config. So the initial first instance that you want to set up, Dynex Solve, obviously the same installation URL that you have, hashing algorithm. In the screenshot, they actually have it blank. But I left mine alone, uh, Dynex Solve, 
and then I put my wallet. And this is my LTC wallet. If you want to send me some LTC, feel free. Uh, but basically, I'm overriding the wallet that's over here under the add wallet section, just FYI. Then I put in the pool URL. I put in the password, uh, which I learned something very interesting that percentage sign worker name doesn't work out. You actually got to type in something. You type in whatever you want, but because I'm using this flight sheet for multiple uh, systems, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, but essentially, um, you put in your password. The password they have here is just like worker name. But because I'm doing Zerg pool, I have the extra commands or extra arguments that I got to add. So you don't have to copy my, me exactly, but it's almost close. You just replace your pass with whatever your worker name is, right? Test one, test two, test whatever. Uh, so we got the pool URL, the port number, all that stuff. And then the extra configs, no CPU, multi GPU sync. And then I have a just command here. And some people are, I think are doing like 1.192 or something similar to that. Actually, let's go back to the screenshot. Do they have it? Where's it at? I saw it somewhere else. So yeah, 1.192 1 is what they're doing. You could see I'm doing something a little bit different, just playing around with stuff. But more importantly is disable dash GPU. And I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, because it has 12 GPUs counting from 0 through 11. That's 12 GPUs. So that's the first instance of this miner. Yeah. Then the second instance of this miner, let me turn off the Discord noise. My apologies there. I know many of you dislike that. And the second coin, they say choose um, Radiant, basically. All right. So Radiant, uh, Radiant Wallet, uh, configure a miner, wild rig, multi miner, setup and miner. And this is where all the bells and whistles are going to go, right? So, algorithm, don't pay too much attention to that. Wallet and worker template, you're going to have nothing in there. But if you mouse over the eye, just click that, it adds it, no problem. And then pool URL, it's going to be your local IP and then that port number that you see there. So, 127.1 colon 8000, same thing that's here in the picture. Password, you can leave as X. And then again, the extra config arguments is going to be the main bread and butter of this thing. We're going to have execute at start and then this command right here and then wait command right here. Uh, now version, you can choose probably latest or 36.6 or whatever. doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using Wild Rig Miner. But here's the thing. There's a bunch of commands that we're going to need to run. So that is the initial setup. You can copy what they have in their Discord, what they have pinned in their Discord. Um, or you can copy what you saw on my screen, but it's pretty much just this, right? So you set up your flight sheets like that, but the main element that we're going to have to do is a bunch of commands. And so those commands are as follows. So once we enable this flight sheet, we're going to have to tell it, you know, execute, or excuse me, once we enable this flight sheet, we're going to have to tell it this right here. And that's actually, let me put it, pull it up in the Word document. It needs to be on a separate line. So pound, exclamation point, slash bin slash uh, bash that needs to be on its own line and to run this we need to open up our miner and then execute uh this command right here right so we got to open up a hive shell and type this so let's go ahead and do it i'm gonna apply the flight sheet bring you guys back once it's applied and working and i'll show you the setup all right so i applied the flight sheet it's gonna have issues off rip so we got to run these commands as soon as possible we're gonna open up this shell right here and to initiate that, by the way, if you're not familiar, you click this little icon right here that says remote access. You got hive shell start, comes up with a little timer, then eventually this hive shell icon pops up. You click that or use your shell in the box, whichever you prefer. And now we need that first command, which is nano dash, uh, slash home user, so on and so forth. We're going to copy that and I'll paste some of this in there, maybe link the, the Word document. But in the shell in the box, we're going to right click paste from browser and then paste it in there you can't just control v it right and so once we hit enter there it's going to take us to this window right and it already has the command in there as you can see and you need to alter it what it gives you in discord it tells you that you need to update the information right so the pool that you're mining to is there the port number needs to be updated to whatever the correct port number is for your pool then it says uh, stratum password is worker. You can change that to whatever you want. In my case, I changed it again to what I have for uh, Zerg pool where I'm mining uh, uh, Dynex coin and getting paid in Litecoin. And then the extra arguments that we need like multi GPU, adjust command, no CPU sync, disable. And again, very important, 
disable the GPUs opposite of what you set in the first instance. So if we disabled seven through 11, then we need to disable zero through six on, on, on this second instance. So that way we don't have the GPU being utilized twice in two separate instances. That's gonna cause conflicts and errors. And then it says dash skip and dash stats, which is very interesting to me. So uh, again, I'm gonna have this all linked in the description with the different steps. Uh, what's italicized is right above the command you need to enter. What's bold is just some information to make sure to be aware of. And then what's not bold or italicized is the actual command you need to run, okay? Um, so we, et we edit this to match our pool, our port, our password and worker name. We disable the GPUs opposite of what we disabled in the first instance. But after we run this, we then need to hit Control X, type Y, and hit Enter. Right. So going back to the instance, so I moved it over to Word uh, to a Notepad, and I erased what was in here. And so now I'm gonna right-click, paste from browser again, paste. And the the bin bash again needs to be on its own line. And I did change the percent worker from what it was to a name now. So now I have everything in here. Now I'm gonna hit Control X. It's gonna ask me a question. Say modified buffer. We're gonna hit yes or Y. Enter. And now we're here. So now if we actually go to the miner which is up and running. You can see at the bottom here, there's two instances. So control AA to switch between the two. And we are good to go. Now we're seeing hashing on both miners hashing away. Now the problem you're going to bump into is if we refresh this page right here, because we did skip stats, which I'm wondering if we need, if we can omit that, because I do kind of want the stats. So we're not going to be able to see the hash rate. We're going to see everything else right like it's power draw the fan speed the overclocks we could still adjust that but unfortunately um like see you see that you see how it just changed i noticed that if you change something like it, it, even if you don't apply anything watch hit apply again it might switch back let's try going over here down to another gpu like every once in a while it will switch to where you can't see one of the instances you can only see one at a time and i'm not sure if it's because of the command skip stats um towards the the end of our original setup um in the flight sheet but you're only going to be able to see one set so you're going to really want shell in the box or your instance up and running and just control a between the two and what you're looking for here is the hr hash rate should match with the pool same and here's the pool hash rate right below it so pool hash rate saying 481 uh, hash rate for the card same 486. So we got a little bit, but we're a little bit closer. Now in the second instance, the same thing. The hash rate for all the GPUs that we have enabled is 325. The pool hash rate is 325. So now the hard part is verifying at the pool that it's showing correctly. Now you can see the percent worker sign is there, which is why I changed it originally. But guess what? These two add up to the hash rate we should be seeing. So 413 plus uh, 333, let's do a quick math real quick for you. 413 plus 333. That's closer to what we, sh we should have been getting up here. Remember what it was saying before, right? It was saying um, all of the GPUs added up to almost 800, and then it said 640 something over here at the beginning of the video. Well, now we're showing close to what we should be, which is almost 800 hash at the pool, 746. So dual instance mining will help your dual core CPU get its full potential. But there are some, some issues I have personally noticed. Again, maybe not all the users won't be, don't like the fact that they can't see all the GPU statistics and they have to open up shell in the box to confirm. But additionally, there were some issues where the miner itself would restart. Maybe one of them won't. But uh, Wild Rig Multi Miner, the second instance, will restart. So we're still testing. We're still tuning. We're in the Discord. We're communicating with one another. We're sharing information with one another. Get in here. Help us out. Feel free to communicate. This is honestly the most fun that I've had playing around with uh, an algorithm in a long time. Sorry this video was so long, but I needed to uh, kind of relay all this information. So if you have a dual core CPU and you're trying to mine Dynex coin, you could be bottlenecking. Um, your performance so running a dual instance can help out however i did have some problems during my dual instance mining so test it out check it out keep an eye on it 
even though you can't see the stats in the main hash uh you know hive os dashboard keep log into shell check it out make sure you're, you're getting the hash rate that it should be not only what your your miners are showing but what the pool is showing that's what the most important thing if the pool and what's on the miners are two different numbers then you could be still bottlenecking uh many people are saying you need uh you know aes and inscri instruction set um both of mine are that so i can't test that data only you can and there's been a few people that have been doing so in the discord and sharing that data so get in here like i said with us uh but that's gonna do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out make sure to hit the like button get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and if you want the word document let me know i'll try to upload it maybe to like a, a google drive under the, the serpent x um email and then you guys can go ahead and and use it otherwise it's in discord right just again you go to the dynex discord click on mining click on pinned scroll on down and then here it is right here thank you very much for posting this by the way buddy uh but everything you need to get set up with the second instance using wild rig miner if you want to use ton pool miner or Daryl strata miner there is additional information that takes us to that instance as you can see here right so just follow the steps create the flight sheets follow the steps enter the commands go from there this is some really advanced stuff so maybe not all the newer miners would like it but let me know your uh your thoughts down below so anyways you have a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one Thank you.